To say anti-collector Mike Wolf has an obsession with bicycles is an understatement. His collection of antique bikes might as well be a hands-on history of the two-wheeler. And at our 2018 live event in Montana, shared more about the beginnings of his fascination with them. Why do you think it's important as a professional antique collector, uh, why do you think it's important to stay connected to our history? To me, history isn't just um, places or items, it's really about people and relationships. And so when I pitched my show for so many years, it was really more about the relationship that someone had with something and why it was important to them. So even if it wasn't from their time period, like me, I like bicycles from the 1800s, I could still connect to it just because of my childhood and the way I grew up. So the items on my show and the items that I collect are really just the vehicle to tell stories and to push them forward. And um, I really feel that if you surround yourself with things in the right environment, it's almost like, it's like stepping back in time. I mean, obviously we can't freeze time, but in a way it, it's something that um, is really close to the heart and kind of wraps its arms around you. So bicycles have been a huge part of my life. I was always a small guy. In high school, I was uh, 4'11 and 87 pounds. <laughs> so there was no being on the football team or anything. And uh, when I got on a bicycle, I felt really good because of my strength to weight ratio and um, watching um, my, the older kids in my neighborhood ride bicycles. It was, it was really interesting. That's how it all got started for you? I started collecting bicycles when I was young because you know, my mother was a single mother. She, I grew up with uh, a brother and a sister and my father left when I was two and she couldn't afford to buy us a bicycle. And I would see other kids in the neighborhood riding bicycles. And um, when I was walking to school one day, I saw some bicycles in the garbage and I couldn't believe that someone had thrown them out. So I grabbed up them, all the bicycles that I could that day. I didn't go to school. And my mom got a call and said, hey, Mike didn't come to school today. We don't know where he's at. So she rushed home and I was in the front yard with all these parts and pieces of bicycles. And uh, she did something really cool then. She gave me the garage. She goes, I'm gonna let you have the garage. So at like four years old, I had a man cave. And that's where it kind of started. That's where it got really heavy. But, but yeah, but bicycles have always been a connection to motorcycles, yeah. like you talked about. And um, I'm really into motorcycles and early motorcycles. So like anything that's before 1920, and a lot of bicycle manufacturers were making motorcycles. And um, I loved being on your show because you gave me the platform to talk about my collection, where usually my show is where I'm talking about someone else's collection. So thank you for that. Yeah, no problem, thank you. Yeah, heck yeah. Yeah, thanks for being on the show. This video is inspired by our PBS series, Reconnecting Roots. Visit ReconnectingRoots.com to watch the full episodes or to check out our music and podcast. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe so we can keep making more. Thanks for watching.